We have visited uh, in the last uh, few months uh, Saudi Arabia, UAE, uh, Turkey, uh, United Kingdom. I have compared all the factors, the cost of living, I feel more comfortable here in Pakistan. I'm Good morning, 9 a.m. Let's look at the temperature. 30 degrees in August. Why is the temperature drop so much? Bismillah. I know a lot of you have been noticing that I don't upload as often. Well, it's summer holidays in the UK, which means kids are off school, which means a lot of you are here. And I'm meeting you and I have to respect your privacy because you don't want to be on camera. So when I'm meeting people, I'm not recording. And if I am not recording, then I have no content. Simple as that guys So Over there I have two things I have It's hard to see because it's very sunny here Unlike the UK But uh, I have an apple That's my breakfast And um, secondly I have a piece of paper that I need to countersign For my sister's Brand new ID card She's going from The old ID card To the the, the uh, smart one so I need to go and do my biometrics as her lovely brother to confirm that she's real or whatever so I'm a countersigner so I'm gonna take you guys to the nether office I want to share an app that I'm using it's a uh, one of those translate apps so I normally use Google Translate but this app is better it is free uh, you can download the language type in whatever you want read it and prepare in advance so more than likely they're gonna say good morning how can I help you today that's in my mind that's what they're gonna say so I need to prepare my response I'm gonna type in the amp in the app read the response and let you guys know what it's what it says so so I'm filming in the Nadra office guys it's normally busy inside We've got 14th of August coming up, so there's flags everywhere. So yeah, let's uh, go here to the Nadra office. This is the app, I've got it ready on the phone. And this is the Nadra office parking just over here. This is all their parking. There's hardly any cars and motorbikes out here, but once you get in, you'll find out how busy it is. It's normally very busy in here. Let's see if I can park right there. I've written I need to test my sister's new ID card and it says Muji Apni Beno Ke Nayash Shanakti card ke ki uhstik karna karna hai. So now at least I know what the actual sentence is so I've prepared. Obviously this app is not as useful when you're having the conversation so I normally try and prepare in advance where I can otherwise I will struggle so let's go in now Finally, finally I can have the windows down and it not feel humid and still like horribly hot so I got an issue basically I have to go to blue area where my sister originally put her uh, submitted her form and I need to attest her application there so it's about 45 minutes away from where I live so Blue area, here I come. I mean, it's a shame. I was practicing my uh, my sentence 
but uh, she just said look if it's in blue area you need to go there and do it not here so I'm going there now also with the app I wanted to mention was uh, it works offline so you download the languages that you want to translate and regardless of whether you have internet or not you should be able to use the app which is why I was using it when I went to Turkey uh, now I'm starting to use it here in Pakistan so look this is our local transport service right there there's one on the right and then one on the left of me there so they're very cheap to use them it's about uh, 30p per ride so you can go as far as you want for 30p within this little bubble of Wakent Welcome to Islamabad All selling flags for the 14th of August Which is in a few days or is it tomorrow? Is it tomorrow? Yes tomorrow well, Currently we're having some issues with uh, our internet Even broadband this time is being affected Apparently they are uploading some new fireware or firewall or something And images and voice notes on whatsapp and videos they don't really load people are using vpn just to like use whatsapp now instagram doesn't work properly so i'm not sure how easy it will be to upload my vlog but that's what's going on at the moment welcome 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 this is that centaurus right there blue area is literally just straight there if I could drive straight back on there's a uh, police patrol vehicles in there anyone going through a red light or a uh, motorbike with a helmet on like look at all these guys all of a sudden they're wearing helmets they will stop you and give you a fine of £1.50 so I've got to do this uh, sort this form out now in blue area later I'm going to Dr Adnan's house He's invited me down for lunch, but sure he's come back from Hajj. Then he went to the UK on holiday. Imagine saying that, going to the UK on holiday. He's been here longer than me in Pakistan. He originally, I believe, moved to Dubai and then settled for Pakistan. Uh, a lot of people are doing that. They're going to the Middle East and then later they prefer it in Pakistan. So now he's living in Pakistan, not far from where I live. So we'll go and see him, inshallah check how he's getting on how his children are getting on see how they're liking it here so far so this is the left for blue area this is the old part of blue area it's a bit uh, run down this bit is this is f7 blue area the f6 blue area is much more modern neat and clean and more palatable but this is still a busy hub commercial hub so this there's a 24 hour Nadra office right here somewhere just looking out for it now normally there's a lot of uh, cars just parking and stopping randomly letting people out here that's how busy this place this is it there it is Nadra Nadra mega center and then over there on the left it says Nadra 24 hours or 24 7 they've got these random makeshift kiosks outside with a photocopier just to help people photocopy any documents and then they've got their own vehicle out here interesting there you go so now I just need to park shall I park here <laughs> Okay, just leaving now that took about half an hour and uh, it's all done I mean originally she's ringing me now originally when they put me through on the uh, 
and the system they go you're not you're not coming up as a brother and it was at that moment i realized that she's adopted i don't really want to tell her yeah so if you see here i've had to connect to a vpn so united kingdom i've chosen uh, just for my voice notes to send some people's whatsapp is working completely fine as though nothing's happened to it other people's like mine is honestly up and down right and left and the thing with pakistan is you can't keep your vpn on all the time it just kills your cell network so nothing works then so i just disconnected from it and that's it call it quits time to see uh, dr saab later on Oh, nice. He's got a Palestinian flag there on his uh, sunroof. Can, can you hear that? That's how the that's how the kids celebrate the 14th of August, Independence Day here. So, welcome back to Waken. Time to get a haircut. I need to be looking good, not only to visit Dr. Adran, but also for the 14th of August. So this is the last season for the mangoes. He's selling it for 200 rupees a kilo and then 150 rupees for the apples per kilo and then he's got peaches and bananas. So I like how the seasons change and the fruits and vegetables change with it. And that's the best way to eat here. None of that freezing, none of that importing. Some of barbers. My new barber shop, guys. I haven't introduced you to it, but it's right here. Somewhere, one of these on the right. This one here. Assalamu alaikum, Chacha Ji. Break for Jariyo, Kikan Jariya. This is a vlog for YouTube. अब थोड़ा सा अंग्रेजी आता है क्या अरबी आता है क्या क्या नहीं कुछ नहीं आता जी कूल के इब माशाल्लाह आई वर्क्ड इन मैं बेच जाऊँ कुर्सी पर या इसे रख सिट डाउन इज वर्क्ड इन सऊदी फॉर अबाउट ट्वेल्व इयर्स सो आई सेड कैन यू स्पीक अ बिट ऑफ़ अरबी की गोज़ा ही इज़ फॉरगॉटन माशाल्लाह स क्या कहने चाहिए क्या कहते चाहिए YouTube पे कोई मैसेज है आपका जो वलेती लोग कोई मैसेज नहीं वलेती लोग उनको कहाँ ना वापस आ जो क्या वो जो वले वलेत में रहते हैं हाँ नहीं वो उनको तो वापस आना चाहिए अपने बाल बच्चे में अल्लाह भी अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह बाय बाय मेरे बाय सारी चीज पैसे ही नहीं जी everything is not about money बहुत अच्छा कह रहे जी इतना है ना जी ऐसा कुछ चीज या सबसे बड़ी जो चीज है ना प्यार माशाल्लाह मोहब्बत है सुभान अल्लाह समझे बच्चों के साथ रहना यस मैंने कई लोग देखे जी ऐसे जी बहुत लोग देखे सुभान अल्लाह लेकिन उनको सुकून नहीं है सुकून नहीं है ना सुकून नहीं है तो क्या है जी ऐसे ऐसे लेकिन पैसे तो क बच्चे आजाद हो जाते हैं। जी। तो वापस आते हैं तो पैसे भी बच्चे ज़हर कर देते हैं। Exactly। तो वो भी अपनी सेहत ख़राब कर लेते हैं। जी। जब आप साउदी में काम किए थे बारह साल? नहीं बारह साल ही छः साल। छः साल? वीज़ा भी लगा हुआ था। फिर भी नहीं गए आप। शाबाश। So he had a visa and he could have still stayed and worked, but he chose to stay and he likes it here. We have a chat all the time about living. In Pakistan and how much free freedom you get here and uh, nobody can kick you out here and it's always better to live in your own country so he didn't like it there in Saudi he said he was a barber just like he is here he was a barber there in uh, Saudi so he's just having his fag break and yeah look at my lovely haircut inshallah nice hot day today as always we've got another two months of summer left yeah i know because they're old 
So, I look fresh guys, Juba, killing it with the Juba. We're going, uh, Dr. Saab has come back from, he's come back from, up here, Hajj. So we're going to get them a nice little lovely Hajj gift to congratulate him and his family for performing Hajj. Man, this is it. Do you want to pick it up? Me. Oh yeah, I've only got one hand. I've only got, yeah, I've got, um, I'm recording. Look at the flags for 14th of August. And then, you're going to see Myra drop the... It's not heavy, they just bumped it. It's not heavy. Myra's got the hamper. Huh? Oh, that's it. That's why he said... <laughs> they said to Myra, this is empty. <laughs> We have to make it for you. And you were saying it's light. Yeah. You funny girl. How is going to make it for us? Yeah. And how much does it even cost? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make us one. 10,000. How much is it, Mario? 10,450? Yeah. Yeah, so he's going to put the same things in for us. Well, was in there. We don't know what's in there. <laughs> you said it was light, you pretty good. Populated still. I mean, this is like eight months since the last time I've come here. It still seems more or less the same. Doctor of the Nansar, here we go. So far, the central masjid is the central business district, so where all the commercial properties were as well. Dr. Saab, Salaam Alaikum Salaam Hajj Mubarak, finally in person I'm able to say it, do you want to say hello to YouTube? Hello So Dr. Saab, it's been 8 months that we last met up and uh, say Salaam Alaikum to the camera, what's your name? Abdullah Abdullah has come into the camera there That's um, your youngest son? The elder Elder son, mashallah and how you find, I mean, let's do that as a first question. How are your kids finding it here? Uh, Alhamdulillah, Abdullah is very, very happy. He don't want to move out of Pakistan or this yeah. uh, house. Yeah. Um, but uh, Harun is, he doesn't like much move out in few years for the uni to Middle East uh, somewhere. But, but Abdullah want to continue his studies uh, here in Pakistan. MashaAllah. So one likes it, one doesn't like it as much. But... How long have you been here? Uh, about uh, six, seven years now. Six, seven years, mashallah. Yes. Uh, do you ever think you'd go back to the UK? Uh, never. Never ever? E even we visited uh, last month, uh, just uh, came back a few days uh, now. I didn't like uh, UK at all uh, this time. Even my family, Abdullah, they didn't like it as well. You're never looking back? What projects have you got planned in Pakistan while you're um, here? Basically, you know, I'm planning to set up a property management uh, business uh, here for the friends and uh, family members who have some pr properties in Islamabad and we will, will manage it uh, to put on Airbnb whenever they want to visit uh, Islamabad. Uh, the properties will be available uh, for them neat and clean, secure, there will be ongoing passive income for them as well. Um, this is my current uh, project. Uh, so people just purchased apartments and then you will manage it for them? Yes, for this purpose uh, I have selected a site uh, called uh, Top City or Mumtaz uh, City and that's uh, very near to the airport, very near to the Islam Mumbad, Rawal Pindit and that's on the um, very easy access uh, through the motorway from the Lahore, Shower, few five-star hotels uh, uh, projects are going on as well. Uh, airport is very near. There's a huge demand for uh, Airbnb in Islamabad and yeah. availability of uh, rooms uh, is uh, not uh, very good. 
yeah. top out at uh, one of my friend he has some land in front of uh, Dino Valley yeah um, we are planning to put some ready made uh, cottages uh, there so people can do uh, stay people can uh, stay there uh, and uh, enjoy their holidays uh. mashallah so Dino Valley is further up on Margala Hills past Manal right Manal, uh, basically uh, Dino Valley is part of Manal uh, and yeah. no the uh, you can say this is a new Manal yeah uh, the old mall has been uh, closed, closed down, yeah. and now the dan valley that's contains 105 canals uh, it, it has been built there are restaurants there yeah. are uh, dinosaur walk uh, there are so many activities uh, the, the chai khana is there uh, and the pc is already there uh, there are other um, five star hotels are coming there as well sure. we have visited uh, in the last uh, few months uh, saudi arabia UAE, uh, Turkey, uh, United Kingdom. I have compared all the um, factors, the cost of living. I feel more comfortable here in Pakistan. I'm um, more inclined to spend my money here in Pakistan because uh, it's much more cheaper than all these countries. Uh, cost of living is very, very low. I'm happy here. Zakala Khair, Dr. Saab, we had lunch together and uh, very happy to be here in your home. Like I was eight months ago and previous to that, you've been inviting me all the time, very hospitable.